Do you think men are important? Well, not like a... for what? Tell us <laughs> <laughs> what your message is to young men. Yeah, so I think that being a man is very, very difficult. I think that men's issues are largely overlooked. A lot of young men growing up today that feel very disaffected. They feel invisible. The agendas that are being forced down their throats are not agendas they align with or they feel affinity to or agendas they want. And I basically just say to men, look, it's a very hard life. You're going to need to get up, work hard, go to the gym. Strong body is a strong mind. You're going to have to reject listening blindly to everything you're told. Reject the slave mind. Think for yourself. Get a strong network of brothers. Work aside them. Don't tolerate low quality people in your life which means don't tolerate men who just smoke drugs and play video games. And try and build and create a reality full of high quality people in which you can resist the programming that the Matrix tries to infl uh, influence you with and grow up truly happy. German, what is up? It's Hiran and today is a special occasion guys because it's National Men's Day. So crack a cold one open uh, and come join me for a chat. Now we won't be covering any TikToks today. Uh, we won't be talking about the abhorrent state of affairs of the dating world. Today I want to talk about men and their contribution to the world. There are many statues commemorating brave men who fought for freedom. Many awards given to wise and intelligent men who invented things that keep the world going. But not every man goes to fight a war, not every man invents something. Regardless of that, every man is priceless and contributes to the world. And being a man is not easy, especially in these times, at least mentally I would say, especially mentally. Because we live in a page uh, of the history book where masculinity is regarded as toxic. You know, we could say the same thing uh, happens to women, where feminine traits are viewed as outdated, but at least men are clear about what they want, and they want feminine traits. A lot of people, however, address masculinity as something that hurts society, as men being to blame for the suffering not only of women, but of other men too. A lot of boys from a young age are conditioned to think that being the way they are, being masculine is something bad. And as a result, a lot of them grow disbalanced, not knowing left from right. You know, they can't find their way, they can't be successful, and they feel miserable. Gone are the days where people were instructed by wiser and more experienced figures. A lot of children are being raised uh, without a paternal figure as a consequence of the high divorce rates. And it's just so sad. Because... A lot of these children grow without a sense of direction, without motivation, without something to look up to. This generation is so lost, more than ever, and you can't blame them for everything because in the end, they didn't get an ideal start. We hear famous phrases such as toxic masculinity, bruised male ego, cis-hetero, retrograde thinking, and many other made-up terms that essentially are trying to insult and undermine masculinity. You know, what used to be praised centuries ago is now shamed. And I actually recall uh, reading a comment that said that toxic masculinity, quote-unquote, is bad until a war starts, and then it's necessary. Now, gentlemen, I want to say in this day to all of you watching that masculinity is absolutely necessary and is something that keeps the world we live in spinning. Men are working hard and focused. They keep inventing new technologies. They take the important role of being a paternal figure, of teaching boundaries and strength. They protect what's important. And no matter how many red-haired feminists say they don't need men, no matter if an army of SJWs tries to categorize masculinity as being toxic, I wish for all you men out there to keep being strong and focused on what you deem important. Do not let go of your natural feelings and traits. Of this that makes you who you are. Masculinity isn't toxic, it's the absence of masculinity that is toxic and unnatural. Overprotectiveness, the snowflake syndrome, irresponsibility and ignorance, that is toxic. So gentlemen, as a last message, being a man is hard in these trying times. Many of you maybe didn't have a good family situation, didn't have a good start. 
many of you maybe lost an important family member that meant something to you that helped you keep going. I hear of many people suffering depression or other mental illnesses. Maybe your heart's been broken, maybe you can't see your children or you went through a bad divorce. Many of you maybe were living blue-pilled, suffering the consequences of a false narrative. But guys, the fact that you are right here, right now, watching this video, goes to show that you've grown out of it, that you've snapped from all the crap that emasculates men, and that you are on a path of improvement. So be strong, know that you always have friends who you can share your problems with, and find support. You can join the Discord if you haven't already, there you can find a lot of topics you may find interesting, and some bros to chat with. Have a sane body and a sane mind, go to the gym, read books, keep improving yourself over time. Stay true to who you are. Because being a man is beautiful, being a man is an interesting journey, but most of all, being a man is necessary. And with that being said, gentlemen, thank you for watching till the end. I wish you a good day, and I will see you next time.